coach, a tough weekend outcome-wise. A couple of one-goal losses to some good competition kind of gives you a chance to learn a little bit about your team. So what do you take away from this past weekend? Uh, I take away that we're a pretty decent team. Um, both both the games gave us some things to, to uh, some challenges to try to, to attack and deal with, and I thought our team, uh, for the most part, executed pretty well. We were a bit unfortunate in the Cal game. Uh, a call here, a call there, and, and the game changes for us. But I thought our approach to that game was great, um, and uh, we just we didn't carry it through as much as I would have liked. But I thought that was fantastic. Um, in the Stanford game, it was a great tactically well played game, and I thought both teams executed pretty well. And we gave ourselves a chance, and that's what we really want to try to do. Um, the the one area that we need to clean up from both games is we need to be a little bit better in the final third. And against Cal, you know, they struck quickly a couple of times. Their second goal coming right after the girls that tied it at one. So, you know, what do you learn from that as far as mistakes being made? How do you prevent that from happening going forward? Well, we always say in our sport that, you know, the first five minutes before and after uh, a, a big event, a game, a big moment in the game are, are probably some of the most dangerous. And, and that's an area where we, we just have to lock in a little bit more. Uh, the Colorado game was the same way. The game kicked off. We got scored on the first five, and that's a detail that we're still we're still working on. We're still trying to fix that that focus level, um, but but we're still growing. The second half against number three Stanford, the energy, the execution was outstanding. I mean, aside from showing you that you can play with anybody, how do you capture that energy from the opening whistle? Well, I thought uh, we, we changed a little things, a few things uh, tactically, but I think this team is one that, that's a, a bit cerebral, and uh, in the first half, typically, they try to figure some things out. Second half, they understand it, and they're able to attack it a little bit better. So um, we as a staff, we're going to try to continue to give them as much information as possible so they feel a little bit more comfortable about what to expect uh, from the opening whistle. But uh, the great thing is that we do adjust well um, and, and can go after teams. Who stood out to you this past weekend? Uh, you know what? I thought um, Savannah Levin was fantastic in Sunday's game. Uh, we asked her to do some things tactically, and I thought uh, she executed very, very well. Um, and then in, in Friday's game, uh, I thought the entire team was, was really, really solid, um, especially in that first half. I thought we were a very good, good team. We were a bit unfortunate not to find a break or two. You have ASU at home this weekend. They're coming off a loss to Washington and a tie at Washington State. What do you expect to see from them? Uh, nothing, nothing more than we haven't seen from most of our opponents. Uh, it, it seems to trend that teams are coming off results that they don't necessarily want before they get to us. So um, we, we expect another uh, team to come in here and be desperate and playing for a win and, and, and trying to uh, get a few points to push them up the table. And so we're doing the same thing. Uh, this week we're that team as well, and so uh, it's going to be a great game. We've already discussed you know, coming out from the onset uh, playing a bit better. What are some other keys against ASU? Uh, you know what? We have to uh, be better in the final third. Um, our, our passes, our movement, our energy in the final third, uh, being a little bit more assertive in, in taking shots. And then when we do get them, putting them on frame, uh, and forcing goalkeepers to make, make saves and make plays. And I think if we can do that, we'll give ourselves a great chance to win the game. Without getting too far ahead of ourselves, you have a couple weekends on the road and then the season finale at home against UCLA at the Coliseum. But in your mind, what does this team have to do to make the NCAA tournament? Uh, we, have to, we have to play well. Um, this league is very, very difficult, um, but, it, but it's a league that has done its work in the, the non-conference um, and thus gives more teams in our league a chance to make it to the NCAAs. So I feel like if, as long as we close out the, uh, the remaining games, we'll put ourselves in a position to get in because our league is so good.